Today, Houston is remembering a true local legend. Gerald Hines is one of the biggest, most ambitious real estate developers in the world. He passed away at the age of 95, but has left his mark on the Houston area. Channel 2 anchor Andy Sirota takes a look back at his incredible life. Gerald Hines was one of the biggest, most ambitious real estate developers in the world, with operations in the U.S. and 20 other countries. From the Galleria and Williams Tower to One Shell Plaza, the Bank of America building, and Pennzoil Place, he was the architect behind some of Houston's most recognizable buildings. Hines was born in 1925 in Gary, Indiana, and moved to Houston in 1948, working as an engineer for several years before starting his real estate firm in 1957. He had two children with his first wife, Dorothy, whom he married in 1952. Hines married his second wife, Barbara, in 1981. The real estate mogul started out making his mark on Houston by building warehouses and small office buildings. He built his first large-scale commercial development in 1967, the Shell Oil Company's headquarters in downtown Houston. 400 other major buildings would follow. His company grew exponentially, and in the 1990s, his firm went global. Today, his company's portfolio of projects includes more than 1,100 properties. Hines once said his buildings were like children. Each one is unique with its own character and personality and was proud of the fact that good design at a reasonable cost had become the trademark of his company. This is video of Hines from November 2013, posted on YouTube after he was awarded the U.S. Green Building Council's President's Award. Hines was also big on giving back to the community. He donated $7 million to the University of Houston's College of Architecture, which renamed the college after him. In 2008, he received the first Visionary Leadership in Real Estate Development Award, a Lifetime Achievement Award from Harvard University. That was Andy Sirota reporting on Mr. Hines.